This humble shelter is all they have. Four bedrooms shared by about 20 women and children living with HIV. These are people who have been shunned by their families, rejected by society and left to depend on the streets for survival. The Women of Hope Foundation seeks to give people in their position hope and a place to call home. Each woman and child has a heart-wrenching story to tell. This young girl, the daughter of the only TB patient here, once slept in Port Moresby General Hospital's car park after she and her mother were kicked out of their family home at Sabama. <laughs> Founder of the ministry, Veronica, has her own story to tell. Growing up, she survived off food that was thrown at Baruni Dump and married at 16 years of age with no educational background. She is now a successful businesswoman who specializes in furniture carpentry. She, I went through that life. I was a poor young girl. I had no school fees to go to school, no, no clothes, nothing. I was eating on the on the streets, so I became a top businesswoman. After all this, chapter one, two, and three, I became a top businesswoman. My business was nothing but for the people out there on the street. Veronica manages the ministry with the surplus she earns from her business and from food that they tend in their backyard. However, a few years back, the ministry engaged the help of a church to install a bore water supply worth 19,000 kina. Veronica told MTV she has paid 7,000 kina with an outstanding of 12,000. Veronica claims her appeal to the health ministry has fallen on deaf ears and a pledge of 30,000 kina from Minister Michael Malabug in 2013 was not received. Minister, I humbly appeal to you, Secretary of Community Affairs, please look down and see the needy. These are vulnerable people, very unprivileged. Unfortunately, their lives have to be like this. Despite the circumstances, Veronica continues to dream of building a better home for the people she cares for. Melissa Govero, National MTV News.